we were bad, and Texas Tech made us bad. I usually have to watch the film to be able to kind of evaluate. And I've been, I, I, I'm going to watch it just because it's kind of what I do, but I don't, I don't really need to watch that game again to know what happened. They were really good. They forced us to be really bad. Early on, you forced them into four turnovers. I guess what were you able to do in that small little segment in the first four minutes that kind of really bugged them a little bit? Uh, I mean, I think tonight was a night where when they made a mistake, it was because they made a mistake. <laughs> We didn't really force them to do anything. And so they, they didn't play a flawless game, but it was pretty close, simple on the defense. You know, a couple times uh, they were able to shoot out of the zone defense. I guess what what did they do that kind of took you all out of that? You kind of switched to some other defense, and I guess uh, what, what did that kind of say about them just being able to do that? Uh, they, they they ran their offense. They, they, they stay patient, which is what they do. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't have an answer. We didn't. We didn't have an answer for them. We 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 were outplayed in every facet of the game. You know, there is no place or part of the game that I could look to and say we did this well. It wasn't it? Wasn't that night? Tonight was the night when Texas Tech thoroughly dominated us from start to finish in every facet of the game. Lin Lindy kind of said and shoot around and as you guys prepared, he said there were people forgetting plays, little small things that made him feel like the team just wasn't locked in. Was that? Something that you could sense this afternoon? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I've been been around basketball since I was four years old, and, and kind of always thought the game from a coaching standpoint. So I've always been interested in how focused people are and doing their assignments. And, and we didn't have we didn't have a sharpness to us today. Um, I told them that then, so it's not like wasn't wasn't a reaction to the game it's, you know we don't have that we don't have the ability as a team to not do all those things well and then play well you have to have an, an immense immensely high level of talent to overcome a lack of uh, mental preparation and so yeah it was it was a part of it but you know, I, again I, I don't want to make it seem like we play poorly and we no, Texas Tech kicked our butts, period. What can you do going forward to, to find a way to, to turn things? Uh, the first thing I got to do is is between now and tomorrow when I get to the office is, is have a plan in mind to go play Texas. And again, I'm going to go watch this, but I don't, I don't need to do it because that's what I do. It's part of my responsibility to go evaluate what we what we're doing to see if there's anything we're going to make adjustments on. Um, Texas is good, and so we we just got to prepare for them. I mean, there's, there's no magic. I don't have a magical wand. There's no easy fix. Part of it is you just got to get tired of getting your butt kicked. And you have to make a decision that you're not going to allow that to happen. And when it does, go and make the adjustments necessary from a personal standpoint. So that's what I'm going to do. Do you feel like this is a night that could jumpstart your guys in that way? I don't know. I'll, I'll see tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll be able to take the temperature when I when I see them walk in practice and see the kind of what kind of focus that they have. Um, I'm confident that they will, but I'm also realistic. And so I know that it's not automatic. It doesn't just happen. You have to, you have to do something about it.